Good morning, buddy. Good morning. Good morning guys. We currently parked up at our campsite in Wales. We arrived last night but we got here pretty late. It was like, well, it was half seven but then by the time we'd sort of got settled and had something to eat and we just crashed out and went to bed. So picking you up this morning. We've got a full day in Wales today and we're camping here again tonight and then driving home in the morning. So we're just sort of waking up now. There's Luke in the background. <laughs> Um, we're just sort of waking up now and having some coffee and some tea and a little bit of breakfast and then we'll be making a plan where we want to go but yeah we're just <laughs> waking up right now it wasn't the best night's sleep because there's been two adults and two dogs one of which is a giant squished in the back of the landy so it wasn't the best night's sleep for anyone <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're waking up and then we'll be hitting the road and exploring Wales today. Well, exploring Snowdonia specifically. <laughs> Get the squirrel. campsite and it's huge it goes on for so long we walked all around the woods and we picked up our favorite tent camping spots we come back here we're definitely not in the campsite anymore but there was a sign that said estuary and we followed it and I think we then when you get to the estuary you're at the end of the campsite like boundary and then it just takes you on to like a public footpath and we're walking along the estuary just admiring the views it's beautiful it's my favorite kind of weather because it's warm enough it's t-shirt weather for me anyway it's it's hoodie weather for luke it's t-shirt weather for me so it's warm but clouds are low and sitting all moodily over the mountains which is my absolute favorite so we're just having a stroll, see what we can see. Looking at this ridiculously nice view. Why do you look so sad when you're wet? Okay, so after I filmed that last clip, talking about how perfect the weather was, it absolutely chucked it down. I think we got caught like in the middle of a cloud as it was passing through, so we got soaked. Luckily, because it's August, it's still warm, so like it wasn't cold, we were just like wet, wet. 
so we ran back in the trees as fast as we could like back into the campsite and now we are drying off and gonna have some lunch i think and yeah got my my top up i get up to dry but yeah we're just drying off gonna have some lunch and then we're gonna make a plan for this afternoon i think oh my god the rain is coming down We've come to the beach, even though it's chucking it down with rain and it's super, super windy because I had on my bucket list, drive on the beach. And this is a beach you can drive on. So we've come here to, <laughs> to drive on it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, you're summing it up. I'm summing it up, you are. getting there. So we've come here to drive on the beach to take it off the bucket list. And we also sort of thought, what else are we gonna do when it's this rainy and windy? Cause we don't really wanna get out of the car. So at least this way, it's something fun to, for us to do. We're staying dry. We've got our very wet clothes hanging up and hopefully they'll be dry by the time we get back, ish. I think it's just gonna be a damp, soggy night tonight. But it's supposed to be a bit sunnier tomorrow, isn't it? So we'll probably do more outdoorsy things. <laughs> you can see Quidge in the back. Probably do more outdoorsy things tomorrow. I want to go and swim in a lake. But I don't think any of us fancy getting wet again today. It's hard to dry off. The water's going to be damp in the back and that's not fun for anybody. What are you doing, bud? Right, we have all just had the most delightful two or three hour nap in the back of the car. We drove back from the beach and it was so heavily raining and windy the whole way. And we were all still slightly soggy. So I think we didn't want to like get out and get really wet again because we were running out of towels. <laughs> it was all damp in the back of the car. And we, we, none of us really slept much last night because Koozie wouldn't go to sleep and he's the giant one and we just kept reshuffling around each other so I think we we're all so tired so we just had a nap and it was the most relaxing thing in the world to just like lie in the back of the car all I could see was trees all around and just hear the rain and yeah straight off to sleep so um, just waking up it's about seven o'clock 
So we're gonna think about having some dinner. Yesterday they were making like wood-fired pizzas here on site and we got two and they were delicious so Luke's just gone to go and find out what they're cooking tonight and what's on what's the situation so we're probably gonna buy some food but we did also bring a bunch of food with us so I might just put something on quick like a little bit of soup and some bread rolls just to sort of tide us over and have a nice little relaxing evening have some dinner probably play some card games it's supposed to have stopped raining now for the rest of today and tomorrow is supposed to be dry as well so hopefully that's true and we can we can get outside a little bit more good morning campers just woken up on day three i feel like my hair is an absolute bird's nest if you can hear koozies crying because luke's just gone away to get him some water which is obviously very concerning oh god i feel like i feel like a right state so yeah we're just sort of packing up all the bed stuff what we've been doing on this trip because it's been very makeshift is having like my i've got two big garden cushions i've just been using them for a mattress and not just just sleeping everywhere and then i literally just made the night before we set off some like makeshift window covers out of just like a really big roll of reflectix i just made like a little template of each window and cut them out and they've actually done a really good job of well one giving us privacy but two regulating the temperature so i'm just taking all them down now and then packing up all the bed stuff they're a little bit like got a little bit of condensation on so i'm just drying them off so they don't pack away damp packing away all the bed stuff and then we'll be having some breakfast and some coffee Little babies. So this is Sika's favourite tree at camp, the one where we've hung all our towels, and she's been spending all of her downtime just chilling under the tree. Okay, so morning coffee is set up. We've got our little stove. Put the gas in. Got our little kettle. Can we get that on. So this morning it's going to be cafetiere coffee for Luke. So we just ground up some coffee before we left. Get chuck some in here. And then I'm just on tea this morning. Got my little mug. Put a little tea bag in for Luke. And now we wait for the water to boil.
top of the estuary view where we came yesterday and it was this whole hill was in the cloud and now next day sun's out we've got blue skies so we've come to see it in the sunshine and it looks just as pretty pretty in a different way with the sun out exploring all the different pitches in case we come back here tent camping see which one's our favorite this is a strong contender I think we think this one's called River's Edge and you've got like these big trees behind us you could sit on pitch up all in here and then you've got a big drop off and a view down to the river looks stunning but there is one further down that we liked a little bit more yesterday so we're going to go and see that one in the sunshine as well. Right, so we've just come down the path and we've seen the signs. So this one is actually River's Edge. There's a little sign right by it. So River's Edge is our favourite. And we like it because you have to come all the way to the end of the path and there's nothing past it you've got just a field on this side and then this side just opens up this gorgeous field that they keep horses on and then you can see the mountains in the distance you've got this big rock which is pretty cool and then there's a bit of the stream a really shallow bit of the stream down here but you can follow the path along and get to the river where it's a bit deeper so we just we, we just like this one and if we if we tent camp we'll be requesting this pitch because it's the one right at the end no one's gonna be walking past you've got a beautiful view and a river to play in when it's hot so what more could you want Still we need to check out of here so we're gonna quickly make some food have a bit of lunch and then we're gonna check out and head over to a lake I think and take advantage of this lovely day that we've got we were saying actually when we were on our walk this morning how nice it was just to be able to go out without our phones not having a clue what time it is just like completely switched off in the woods and it was oh, it's been so nice to just rest and unplug and just actually have a really nice rest for a couple of days away and we saw some cows on the beach I'm not sure why they're on the beach but it was pretty cool <laughs> so we had our lunch we had some pasta and then the time had gotten away from us we packed up really quickly took the dogs in the car, there wasn't really that much to pack up to be fair and we've checked out and now we're driving to a lake to go and have a little swim before we go home
lake. All four of us are in the water. It's not the lake we were planning on going to, but we were driving along and we saw this one and we saw someone paddleboarding on it and we thought, why not stop here? Try out somewhere new. It's much closer. <laughs> so here we are and it's, it's lovely. <laughs> Sika's even been in the water a little bit as well. Although again, she only swam because she was chasing a bird. <laughs> and now she's she's hanging out as as shallow as she can get. <laughs>